This is an introduction in navigating around Pronto. For more specific detailed information, please refer to the Pronto Navigation Overview Guide. The Pronto user interface looks like this. It consists of a row of ribbon tabs located in the top, being Home, Settings, Navigation, Help, and a tree menu structure on the left hand side here, which signifies the various program functions within Pronto. This area here is where the various applications run. For example, if I select a particular function here, this is the Maintain Purchase Order screen. Navigating around Pronto can be done in a number of ways. It can either be done performed using the mouse in a traditional format by, as you should hopefully be aware of, or you can be using your arrow keys up and down, or alternatively you can use the letters of the menu functions. As you can see under here, the certain letters are actually underlined so if I push those on the keyboard I will go straight to that function so if I push H it takes me to the header details so depending on which functions you use you'll soon become quite proficient in navigating very quickly around Pronto to move back I'm just merely pushing the escape key which just moves backwards main items I'd like to show you are the to get you going uh, the home tab which consists of some basic copy paste commands uh, the one important area here is favorites which we'll have a look at this enables you to store your favorite function so that you can get at it quickly so let's take for example if I'm always maintaining purchase orders instead of clicking through here I can make this a favorite I just simply click on the favorites button I can add this current function to favorites so you can see now it's added the maintain purchase orders screen into my favorites folder so if I can escape out of here and I can either access it through here where it says maintain purchase orders or I can click on my favorites button and go to the screen very quickly like that. If I want to remove favorites I just simply go to the organize favorites button here I can add or modify my favorites I can scroll down maintain purchase orders and I can remove that confirm yes quite simple So I would, I would envisage that various people would have all of their commonly used functions set as favourites to help them navigate quickly around Pronto. So the next item here is Quick Links. Pronto doesn't actually store any documentation, but it actually stores a link to where documentation lives on the file server under this command. So you can launch to see the documents or administer and actually attach documents in this section here. The data grid export function is quite a useful tool. So if we go back, say for example, to our purchase order maintain screen, this particular screen here is known within Pronto what they call a data grid. It's a grid of data. And if you wanted to export this and do something with it externally or send it to an external party or something like that, all you need to do is you click on the little export to Excel button and Pronto will then launch Excel and actually export that into an Excel format as you can quickly see here. So there it is there, so you can save this off, manipulate the data and do what you wish with it. So that's a very powerful, handy little feature within Pronto. Also within Data Grid, you can apply filters and have your own custom views. So let's say, for example, in this particular screen here, this is showing me all of the screens and all of the purchase orders currently outstanding. Now, I may only want to look at all the ones, say, for example, in Queensland. So to do that, I click on the heading here and I can apply a filter. So I click on the filter and I want that to say, show me everything that is equal to Queensland and say OK. And it's now applied a little filter. There's the symbol and it's shown it there saying these are all the Queensland ones. I can then save that by clicking the Save As button and call it the Queensland view and OK. And it's now saved a little tab up here as Queensland view. So I can look back here at the Azure standard and there's the Queensland view only. If I wish I can set this as the default view so every time I come to the screen I see that Queensland view and to do that I just simply select the button saying make this the current view, the default view. So if I escape from this screen here just by pushing the escape key and I come back to maintain purchase orders here I am back on the Queensland main view. You can set up as many views as you wish. The tabs just here just keep growing and growing and growing. So it's a very powerful feature within Pronto and it's something that um, a lot of people will use once they get the hand on, 
get a handle on, on how it's used effectively. The filter here has quite a number of mathematical comparisons, so it doesn't actually have to be equal to, it can be not equal to, greater than, less than in numeric fields, contain, be between, all sorts of things. So there's quite powerful feature set. And you can also uh, apply filters that do some formatting, so you can actually say well, if something's equal to or greater than a particular value or whatever, you can assign colours, all those sorts of things. So pretty quickly with a little bit of work you can get some quite um, powerful filtering on the various data grids and data views within Pronto. Okay, so the next area, the, the web never, um, I don't want to save that, so we'll cancel that. The next area is the web navigation view. We were not using that particular function, but you can actually embed a website in this main pane here and control it from the web navigation view, which we're not doing at this stage. And final button on the home tab is a new session button. This actually invokes a whole new session of Pronto, but doesn't use another license. So for a lot of users here, power users who have got dual screens can actually have two sessions of Pronto running and actually transact on both simultaneously. So that's another quite useful feature. Next thing, on the settings tab, there's only really two areas of uh, value here. One is the uh, the font, the variable font. For laptop users where their screen resolution may be limited, they can reduce the size of the font, say to 10 point or something like that. So if I now go and look at the same screen here, you'll notice that the font's significantly smaller. So that's useful if you can't see the whole screen on your current monitor. Uh, I think the suggested recommended is 15, which is the default view, and that's where that should that should um, should be set at. And the other feature here under general is the mode list position. When Pronto is initially run on your machine, you will find that the list of headings is actually on the bottom of the data grid. So it's preferred that this is on the top because all of the documentation that we prepared actually has this on top. So to move it, just simply go to the settings tab, select general, mode list position, top, and select OK. And as you can see, it just pushes it up to the top there. So that's the facilities there. Navigation isn't used at this stage. And finally, there's a selection of items under the help tab. So that's a brief introduction on navigating around Pronto. I suggest that for more specific details on those functions, you consult the navigation overview document. Thank you.